For today's Grim Adventure, we find ourselves once again in London. We're standing in the Brompton Cemetery and what you're looking at right now is rumored to be a time machine. Now you might be saying to yourself, wait a second Mr. Grimm, time machines are not real. They don't exist, it's only pure fiction. Well you may be correct, but I will say this, Inside this mausoleum, the supposed time machine, are their final resting place of three people, a woman by the name of Hannah Courtoy and her two daughters. And the two men who are responsible for building this time machine, if you will, are actually buried here in the cemetery. One of them not too far from here and the other one in an unmarked grave. And it has a very, very interesting story. Now before we get too deep into the history of this mausoleum and the time machine inside this tomb, let's talk a little bit about the three people involved. The first one being Hannah Courtois. You see, she was a very wealthy woman here in London. And she had a slight obsession with ancient Egypt. Aside from that, not much is really known about Hannah Courtois. But her two friends, the first one being Samuel Warner, he was a, an inventor that was kind of, I don't know if he really lied about a lot of his inventions or if he just kind of over embellished things. But he is buried in an unmarked grave inside the cemetery. We're not going to be able to find it. This place is pretty massive. But the grave of the other guy, a man by the name of Joseph Bonamy, is also here. We're going to get to that a little bit later on. Now, whether there's an actual time machine inside this mausoleum or not, inside this tomb, nobody really knows. Like I said, the key has been lost. Nobody can get inside. I'm sure if they wanted to, they can. But that's kind of like a disrespecting the dead or desecrating the dead, isn't it? Now, if I back up all the way like this, it kind of look like something from a very famous science fiction TV show, like Doctor Who. Doesn't it look like the TARDIS? Now, if you're a Whovian, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Now, Jessica, she was just over here, off to the side, looking at slugs. There's slugs everywhere here. And we cannot get enough of this. There's been a few different tour guides walking through. Birds, slugs, you name it, all here. This place is, it's beautiful. It's like a fine mix of an unkempt cemetery and a well-manicured cemetery. Now, the history of this mausoleum, the history of this tomb that supposedly holds a time machine, it was completed in the year 1853, five years after Hannah Courtois' death. Now, to touch a little bit more about the death of the inventor, supposedly, Rumor is the story, one of the stories is he was murdered to keep quiet, like we just said. Now, the guy who had all the knowledge of how to build this and how to travel through time from all of his trips over in ancient Egypt, supposedly they put different things inside here that let people know, that make people go, hmm, this does look like a time machine. It has to be true. It has to be true. One of them is these. Down here at the bottom of the door, you can see that look like little dials. You can actually see through them. Jessica was trying to look through there with a light earlier. I got a little excited because these ones over here are very worn away. And at first I thought, oh, is that a little scarab at the bottom? But no, it turns out it's not. The one over here is perfectly preserved. But there are scarabs on the door. And at the bottom, to me, it looks like the old saying, I, the eye of Ra. I know you said that the key is lost, but has anyone just tried knocking? Give it a go. Okay. <laughs> no, that was me, that was me. So let's take a closer look at this keyhole. It definitely looks like an old key, that's for sure. Man, it'd be really cool to get in there. Really cool. 
No answer, no answer at all. Now, if we take a few steps back and look up towards the top of the tomb, there's something else here, another marking that makes people believe that this is a time machine. And it's like a little glass ball and it looks like more like a dial than what's at the very bottom. You see it there about the center of your screen? It's that round glass ball with those eight dots, those eight holes right next to it. Whether it's a, a dial or a sundial or something, it can be seen on all sides. Now, what's really fun about this, supposedly this, some say that this isn't really a time machine, that instead it's a portal, that if you go inside and you can activate the portal, it would take you to other locations here in London. Other cemeteries even. I don't know if it's ever on record, but this has to be the inspiration for the TARDIS. Back up a little bit. Yeah, it's crazy. Beautiful. Now when it comes to the grave, the unmarked grave of Samuel Warner, like I said, we're not going to be able to find it. There's really no way of knowing. But we do have a picture of Joseph Bonamy's grave. We just have to find it. And then we're also going to take a look at the cemetery because there's a lot of really, really beautiful stones and statue work here. Now they were not kidding. They said that the grave of Joseph Bonamy was really close to the time machine tomb. And they were right. Now we kept our search relatively close. And then right over here, you see, not too far, is the final resting place of Joseph Bonamy. Look at that. Like I said, Joseph Bonamy, sculptor, traveler, and archaeologist. That's crazy cool. So I think that's pretty much it for our story of the time machine tomb here in London. And we kind of want to spend the rest of our time just walking through the cemetery, taking a look at everything. It's beyond beautiful here. Now, aside from the time machine tomb, as far as I know, there's really no like notable pop culture graves here. So we're just kind of walking around, taking a look at everything. Man, this is beautiful. I know I say it all the time, but I feel like this should be the entrance to our house. We need a door like this. Now, baby ghoul, there may not be a famous pop culture grave here, but one of your favorite movies was filmed here, and that's Guy Ritchie's Sherlock Holmes, starring Robert Downey Jr. and Jude Law. In fact, there's a scene that was pretty much shot from right about here, the opening shot. You can see that building to your right, and then that building a little further down at the end of this road. This is really cool. I had no idea this would be so large. In the scene, this is where Sir Henry Blackwood was buried after he was hanged for his crimes. And essentially, Sir Henry Blackwood was Sherlock Holmes' nemesis in the movie. And they come here because the constables and other officers are in a tizzy. He, it's been broken open and the body's gone. Has he come back to life? They think so. Coming down to these doors actually reminds me of the very beginning of the film when Sir Henry Blackwood is essentially caught in the act performing his black magic deeds. He was attempting to sacrifice a girl to gain a natural power, the power to resurrect himself, which supposedly happens on this very spot. So they think. Have you watched the movie? I won't give it away. But I love this. This is gorgeous. I can't remember if there are snakes in that scene. I want to say so, or maybe I'm just imagining it because I love snakes. But this is really gorgeous. And 
I had no idea this would be here. And the, and the scene, this is all filled with rubble. And you don't get to see this beautiful detail. Oh, wow. Peeking through the doors here, I really half expected it to be empty, but in the center, it looks like what I would call an old wooden pulpit for performing a sermon or performing a service. And stacked up to the ceiling are some of the oldest caskets I have ever seen. So let's see here. Above where we were just filming, it looked like there was a bit of a walkway, like a bit of a hallway above the crypts. And that's this structure right here, just behind Jessica. And I love hallways. I love these the different lines that they create. I have to walk through it, at least part way down it. This is crazy cool. So right about now, we are standing above the crypt that we were just pointing out from the movie. And this really is something else. I feel like I should be underground or something like that, not above ground. Now, this is pretty wild. I feel like we're in a Colosseum of the dead. Just a bunch of crosses and a bunch of graves and a bunch of different walkways. Wow. In a way, it kind of feels like I just stepped into like a secret garden. This is something else. It may not have these giant mausoleums or statues and things like that, but this covered walkway is beyond gorgeous, beyond beautiful. So let's see here. We visited the Time Machine Tombstone, the Time Machine Tomb, the mausoleum here at Brompton Cemetery. Got to take in some Sherlock Holmes filming locations. All in all, this is a nice little cemetery trip, a little cemetery safari. And with that, thank you for joining us. And until next time, happy Halloween. Never stays a day. A bad luck's always a